grote rot in de branding van vorig seizoen, Pavel Bortnevic, kwam tijdens de voorbereiding in een horrorfilm terecht. Hij raakte zwaar geblesseerd aan zijn knie en is voor de rest van het seizoen uitgeschakeld. Afgelopen weekend was hij voor even terug in Heerenveen. I'm I'm really okay. I'm happy to be back uh, for these two or three days. Uh, yeah, I, I'm here because of my knee, of course. Uh, doctor and staff, everyone want to check my knee, how it's going, and it's going pretty okay. So, so I'm I'm really happy. Yeah, it's a long recovery. In what uh, stage are you now? Uh, finally, I feel like normal person. No, I I don't feel like I'm injured. Uh, normal life, uh, I can do almost everything. Even I came today with with the bike, so it's no problem. Uh, in my rehabilitation, I have also do bike. But for example, I cannot run yet uh, because it's different type of uh, pressure on the on the knee. When you go to the to the pitch and you run, you you do like duels with with the players. So like every control movement I can do. Uh, I think I will start to run maybe in two three weeks. I went with my right foot with my right foot. Uh, the grass was so dry. Uh, my my foot like. Um, stopped in the grass, and then the guy I don't know his name. Don't you remember his name? He like kicked me on my right right side, and and I heard like really weird sound. You know, like when you break like wood or something. You know, and directly I know I knew that was something bad. Uh, yeah, at the first moment was it was painful, so so bad. It was really pain. But after. Like 10 minutes, I I went to the dressing room. I I took my shower and I was like, ah, oh, maybe it's not that bad. But at the end, then day after, I took my MRI, uh, and it was it was really bad. <laughs> you know, the first uh, two days are really bad because then you're asking yourself like, what I should do better, or maybe I did something wrong, or. But after these two, three days, I just changed my my mind, and I was like, okay, it's a new challenge. Uh, I will have a lot of time for doing the things that I don't have time f in like normal, normal situation. So maybe I'm not happy that this this injury happens, but uh, I really, I really re learned about myself in this moment, and I know. Uh, how to deal with my body now more, I, I understand more my body. So this is like some kind of positive things uh, in this bad situation. And you do your recovery in Poland, um, why is that? Especially because of my my head, I prefer to stay in Poland. Uh, to be honest, I don't want to be here now because it's really hard for, for your head if you see your friends going every day, play football, uh, even the game against Ajax, I was in one in one side, I was like really happy because I'm here, but the other other hand, I was like, ah, oh, fuck, I should be in the in the pitch. So, yeah, I don't want this situation uh, because, uh, to be honest, I've, the, the best uh, place to be for me is, is my country, of course, I'm close to my family. So it's, uh, I don't think too much about like I'm, I'm, I'm injury. And you also have, yeah, maybe a little bit time to do some other stuff uh, now. Then. Yeah, first time from like I don't know when I, my weekends are free. I have day off on s like I, I, I train from Monday till Saturday morning, and then I have day off. I build my house in Poland now, so I have a little bit more time for. Uh, I bought like really old building close to the forest. And you do all the things uh, yourself. Uh, of course, I, I don't do everything because it's it's really hard. But yeah, with my father-in-law and my father, we we do some some things. Now I can do more because I, what I said in normal life, I, I don't feel nothing. But like first weeks, I was just uh, yeah, I was like motivation there, you know, because I I I can do I can I couldn't do nothing before. Uh, so yeah, but uh, I I do some some stuk. How do you? How oh, yeah. yeah. Stuken. Yeah. Stuken. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I do some some things there. Pavel kwam dus in eerste instantie even terug naar Heerenveen om zijn knie te laten controleren, maar uiteraard kwam hij ook het team supporten tegen Ajax. 
uh, after the game, of course, I went to the to the dressing room and yeah, we talk a lot and yeah, everybody supports me and I feel it. Even if I'm in Poland, a lot of players or staff they 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 contact me. So yeah, I feel that uh, like when I come here, I'm not like new guy. <laughs> Uh, everybody remember me and everybody waiting for me. In de laatste oefenwedstrijd van de voorbereiding stak de selectie Pavel een extra hart onder de riem door met speciale shirts op het veld te komen. Yeah, it was it was a special moment for me. It was really good and I really think I'm really thankful to all teammates and and staff and all the club. I also took the t-shirt to with me and I sometimes I, I do my work uh, in rehabilitation. It's like some kind of like motivation for me that someone is waiting for me here. Rezevic verlengt en dan wordt het 2-0. Wel Bal valt die bal zomaar binnen. Als Rezevic kan verlengen en Bokjevic voeten tegenzet. 